What's up everyone, Father Winitachi here. I know the screen in the background is really dark. That's because it's nighttime, so it's gotta be dark. But I don't have lights that can brighten my face up and brighten my background up. So I don't got any of that shenanigans. But you can still see me. You don't. You just need to at least hear me. Alright, because we are getting into the live reaction of my thoughts and feedback and everything Pokemon Sun and Moon. And what I mean by that is we are going to be doing the trailer that arrived in, I believe, February for the 20th anniversary of Pokemon, and this was the announcement for Pokemon Sun and Moon, so we're going to go ahead and check that out. I'll give you guys all the deets uh, as they come throughout the cinematic, and pretty much this is everything that we know about Pokemon Sun and Moon thus far, are the information that people are able to steal, which I'm about to show you today, from the Pokemon Sun and Moon original trailer, which was about 10 seconds of foot real footage for Pokemon Sun and Moon. But I do want to say, for those of you tuning in, if you see anything online, if you see any starter leaks, anything like that, probably fake. But, still also cool to look at them, so go ahead and check them out. Because some people are coming up with some crazy stuff. But I just want to say, thank you very much for tuning in. Let's go ahead and check out the official trailer. Well, not official trailer for the game. But it's a cinematic for the 20th anniversary that announced Pokemon Sun and Moon as the next generation. Peggy 7. Peggy 7. I have no clue what that is, but okay. Oh damn, they show in them old schools. Celebrating all Pokemon trainers. Old school, son. Oh, this guy playing on that big fat boy. I've got every Game Boy in my closet right now. I got the fat original, which you're seeing right now. The, uh, the big gray one. Um, that one isn't originally mine, it was my bros, but I got it because I eventually took it because I played Pokemon more. Um, I got the Game Boy Color Green Holified. I've got Pokemon Advance, Pokemon SP. I do not have the Game Boy Pokemon Micro Edition, but I've got every Game Boy Edition possibly there is. I just did not get the Micro because I never thought it was good. I do not have the original Nintendo DS though. I, I used to, but I traded it in and I never got one back. But I do have the 3DS now, so the original uh, DS is what I'm missing, but that's all good. I still got the fat, big gray guy. They're showing all the old school stuff right now, son. Oh, I saw that Sun and Moon, Lunatone, Soul Rock. Did you guys see that? I'm assuming there's going to be Mega Evolutions for those guys. Sure. For sure. Alright, people skating around, skating in game. Biking, biking in game. They connecting via trading, battling, all that shenanigans. So, really cool. Mega Mewtwo's, they're showing the old stuff, they're showing the new stuff. I know they're about to showcase every single generation. Here we go. 2002, oh, 2006, 2010, 2013, and in 2016. Here we go. Alright, so starting off with the very first picture that we see. Looks like a Pikachu. I'm very positive it's a Pikachu. But the one on the bottom that he is currently drawing looks like an Amoga. So it looks like a half and half. It looks like a flying Pikachu, but it's probably just a Pikachu. Let's not go too far in depth with that one. Next scene, we've got a guy with the coolest keychain -y thing on his neck of all time. So you want to send me one, bro? I'm looking at you. You want to send me one? I know you want to send me one. But first of all, I'm going to bring these pictures in depth onto the screen right now. What you're seeing are the Pokemon Centers and Pokemon Marts, as well as what some people are speculating to be a coffee shop. And these are what the new buildings are going to look like. These are what they're going to be. And they are beautiful nonetheless. It all comes Next up, we've got real cool looking, more in-depth on the outside of the Pokemon Center. And what I mean by that is this Pokemon Center, in the games, if you follow the anime itself, the Pokemon Centers in the modern cities, not the ones that are like farming, not the ones that are log houses, old school, Horses, horseback riding. I'm talking about from the first episode of Pokemon all the way to now. Most Pokemon centers are circular and they look exactly like this. Now they're bringing that into the game, but they've updated it massively. So, what we just saw in the previous couple clips ago, where we saw inside of a Pokemon Center, where this is the actual outside of a Pokemon Center and it looks absolutely amazing, which is really cool. Next scene, we got some weird stuff going on. On the bottom, we've got a Pokemon Ambulance. I'm assuming Chansey's about to come out, or Blitz, Blissey, something's coming out because that's a Pokemon Ambulance. Now, on the bottom left, 
It's yellow. It has flashy sirens on top. Does not look like a fire truck, but it could be. Could be out of the thing that it's pulling in the back. Could be water Pokemon standing on the top of that, but I have no clue. To me, that looks more of a Pokemon Ranger type truck. And the reason being is it's more of a mountain type truck where they go out to rescue people and all whatnot. So on top, they have a just a stack of uh, normal trucks, like just normal SUV, RV trucks just flying around, um, going off-road. They're ready to hit the dirt. So I don't know if we're going to be able to drive cars in Pokemon Center Moon. I highly doubt it, but we might be able to in some specific certain spots. And I bet you for like one-time thing. Not a one-time thing in the game, you can keep going back to it, but it's something you're probably only going to do once. Like, in the latest versions, we were able to ride some of our Pokemon in, like, snow. We were able to ride in the Bomba Snow in um, X and Y, I believe it was. So, it's probably going to be something really silly like that, which you do for a couple seconds and not too much. Now, on this next screen, Together we see something really Pokemon cool. Adventure. We see... The inside and outside of buildings. You can see the truck on the top left picture, but I'm going to reverse you from those pictures on the left to the main picture on the right. Now we're going to go ahead and skip a couple scenes and go to the main scene itself. Now to me, you can see the horsey spewing water in a water fountain. That's cool. Now you see water in the front of this building, and I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, what I think it is. There's a lady with a suitcase, a pink suitcase, standing in the water, and there is a trainer on the right, and it looks like an ordinary trainer. It's not fully developed, but it looks like an ordinary trainer, one that we would actually play. So that could be us. This could be a mini cutscene cinematic, so they might be introducing cutscene cinematics in Pokemon Sun and Moon, which would be great. But what I see here is two white towers, or two white pole towers with Pokeballs on top in the front. And then on above that, in the middle of this massive building, is a Pokeball. What I see, or what I get from that is, most gyms look identical to what we see here in the front. The building doesn't have to be the same, but what we see from gyms and games look exactly like this. So, the building is massive and huge. Great. Now, what I see on the outside are ma many Pokemon that resemble water. We got a Sweel, a Staryu... We've got horses. Everything is resembling water. So this could be, in fact, a water-type gym. Now, we're not completely sure, but this is what's speculated on my behalf. And then we also get a clip of a, hol a 3D holographic form on a computer of probably the Pidgey, Starly, you name it. I f can't remember the other ones right now, but you know what I'm talking about. There's always that one bird in Route 1. Of the game and or route two depending on which game it is some didn't start with route one and this is probably that holographic form of that pokemon this is going to be the bird that we're all going to catch and it's going to learn fly for us and it's going to have th uh, two different evolutions above it so it's going to have three different forms so that's what i'm assuming is going to be coming from that little particular clip right there and then yeah, Pokemon that's about Sun it. We go to Pokemon Sun and Moon logos, and available basically they're also going to announce that there's available worldwide in nine different languages now. Last but not least, I do want to say one last thing. As we celebrate these 20 years since the launch of Pokemon Red and Green in Japan and Red and Blue in the Americas, the next era has been announced, and it's Sun and Moon, as I just stated. They're going to be coming out for the Nintendo 3DS family in holidays of 2016 with a new world, new Pokemon, new adventures to discover. So we just saw the first trailer for that. It was an announcement just to say Pokemon Sun and Moon's coming with a couple of deets for 15 seconds. Now holiday 2016 means the end, so December-ish. So it's probably going to come in time for Christmas. For those of you that set up with Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, you name it, many of those holidays are towards the end of the year. We're going to be able to use the Pokemon Bank. So for those of you that do play the Virtual Console, Nintendo 3DS, Red, Blue, and Yellow, you will be able to copy those Pokemon into Sun and Moon through the Pokemon Bank. As well as for those that play Aorus, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, and X and Y, you're going to be able to do the exact same thing in the same maneuver at Pokemon Bank. If you get Pokemon Bank right now, you're able to get the three uh, Regice, uh, Regirock, and Registeel as well with unique moves and abilities. So go ahead and pick up your Pokemon Bank if you have yet to do so, but you have a long time for to get that, to take care of that. 
Um, Pokemon Sun and Moon will be the first games in a series to allow players to choose from nine different languages, as stated as well. So that's as much information as I'm able to break down for you in this cinematic trailer. Now, this was the announcement trailer for just Pokemon uh, Sun and Moon. I cannot wait. I'm assuming we're going to get things like um, Lunatone and Soul Rock Mega Evolutions. We're going to get leaks galore of starters, but don't rely on those yet because it's all speculation. We're going to have our first batch of information for these gener for this generation in the next week because that's, they've already announced that on their Twitter page. So the next week or the week of this is being released. I'm not sure how I'm going to release this yet on my YouTube channel. I mean, what day? But um, this, right around the corner, we're going to be getting a batch full of information on the Pokemon channel, on YouTube, on social media, all Pokemon related to Sun and Moon. So stay tuned for some more information. Stay tuned for some top five videos not related to Pokemon Sun and Moon. Could be, could not be, anything. Pokemon updates for the one Itachi is your man. I just want to say thank you very much for tuning into the videos lately, everyone. Hopefully you're enjoying a brand new Pokemon channel with brought to you by Furlow and Itachi. Go ahead and check out that description box down below. Leave a comment if you have any questions, have any feedback. Thank you very much for tuning in. Furlow and Itachi is...